So in the previous e video, we had uh, some basic understanding about uh, how we can utilize uh, JavaScript uh, in <coughs> code editor of the Google Earth Engine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can read uh, single band layers or import single band layers into the code editor. So first of all, you have to select uh, which uh, image you are going to import into the uh, code editor for that you have to go to the explorer and then in the here you have to search which image you need to uh, load as an example in here we choose srtm dataset so type srtm and get the SRTM digital elevation data version 4. So once you click on that, uh, in the explorer you can view this uh, very easily. However, if you want to do this uh, in code editor, you have to obtain the unique ID that relevant to the image. So for that, you have to click this question mark and which indicates view asset details. And there you can get the image ID so you have to copy it here and then you have to store this uh, image in a variable So likewise, you can import images from uh, Google Earth Engine Cloud into the code editor. So if you want to view this uh, image, uh, you have to view the map center. So in this case, uh, we'll zoom into the central hills area. So first of all, you need to get the latitude and longitude of your interested area. So you go to maps. So here we can get the latitudes and longitude. And then dot set center. You have to give the latitude and longitude. And then you have to give another argument which is so mirror. So we usually uh, give the zoom level as 9, but depending on your requirement, uh, you can always change that. So I, uh, for easier to comprehend and understand, I'll include the comment uh, which arguments that we are entering here. So the first argument is for latitude and the second one is for Longitude and final one is so here. So when you run uh, so in here the problem was that uh, uh, we have to interchange the longitude and latitude. So that's why it is not uh, displaying the correct latitude and longitude. So once you've done that, run the program again and you can see it, uh, it is now showing the correct map center. So we can zoom a little bit more. 
So in here you can see the newer area is displayed in the map. So now uh, if you want to uh, display the imported image which is the SRTM lecture elevation model over the newer area area, you have to use the following syntax. So here under curly brackets you have to give the minimum and maximum values. Now run the program again. So now you can see uh, we have imported the CG uh, the SRTM dataset into the Norelli area. As I mentioned before, in white color uh, it denotes the higher elevation areas, and when you are going away from the central hills to the yeah, all other directions you will see the black color which is the low elevation areas so apart from displaying in uh, a gray scale or a single color you can also use the color palette instead of uh, this single gray scale for that uh, you can use a color palette i just Comment it out. Paste here. So here you have to to uh, enter another variable apart from the minimum and maximum. This palette. You have to define each color blue, green, and red. So run the program again. So here you can see a shades, a different shades in red color, in denotes higher elevation areas, and in green color it is quite low, while blue color indicates the lowest elevation area. So likewise, you can uh, read single band layers using Google Earth Engine Code Editor. So see you in the next video.